<laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, the first uh, Geraldine uh, Valentino Smith yeah. delegate signed. The first one I saw was today. Yeah. I thought it was for city councils. I had to get my glasses on. It's for delegates. Yeah, yeah. And, of course, uh, the other signs, I, I haven't seen many of any. But you're right. Uh, Hubbard's been around a long time, and uh, no doubt has business connections. And Perhaps. it's good. You don't see them very often in town. Well, I haven't. I don't go, I guess, to places anymore that they go, but uh, I remember Senator Conroy, if there was any kind of gathering. Or green. And green in town, uh, if it was even a backyard oh, cookout. Right. If, you, if, sure. so, if someone cooked a good lasagna at home, Green would be over there with a letter of congratulations. <laughs> 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 so uh, does this mean, John, that we're lose, the p politicians are really losing the touch that I have to... Yeah, I do. I, I think so. Doug Peters is, is a good senator. Yeah. Um, in the state delegate situation, I, I, I'm less than enamored. I think that... that um, Geraldine would make a very, very good state delegate. Who she's going to run with, um, I don't know. No. I see all these candidates out there. And, and on Facebook, you will see them popping up. Yes. For some strange reason, they all want to talk to me. I don't know why. I, nothing I can do for them. Well, you know, John, I'm going to mention one thing, and I'll have to give uh, Jimmy Carter credit for this. And he Jimmy Carter? He's never got credit in his life. Well, <laughs> this is why I'll give him only one credit. And uh, I didn't vote for him, but... He would show up anywhere across the country if it was a coffee. Yeah. And I'd seen pictures of him when there was just half a dozen people at a coffee. Mm -hmm. He sort of brought that on a national level that yeah. I'd never seen before yeah. on a national level. Well, you know Those who's brought that, though, on a, on a regional level? Steny Hoyer. Yeah, Steny he Hoyer. is absolutely the best politician that we have. Yeah. And he's we share him with St. Mary's, don't we? Right. And Calvert. And Calvert. And he's got a couple of opponents down there. Uh, I've seen the sign for one, some guy named Bailey, or that's his first name, I think. Bailey yeah. is the last name. And there's a oh. good candidate there. I read the stuff in that Calvert paper about him. L-O-L-L-E-R, Lord, retired. Uh, uh, he's African-American. Well, I cannot imagine Airport. wanting to replace the House Majority Leader. Well, I think it's a matter of, I, don't th I think it's one of those that he's got a lock on it, in my opinion. But let me mention, you were talking about Facebook, and they, when have you heard of Maine Agatha? Aunt Agatha has a Facebook page. Oh, but I thought that. You look up Aunt Agatha, there's a picture of her in uniform. Oh. Military uniform, cartoon. Oh, it is. With a guy hiding behind her. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, yeah, she's active. She puts out a, an anti-political quote of the day, which I'm sure yep. you, would, you would expect. And an awful lot of... As some of the more right-wing people on Facebook say, a lot of lefty stuff. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I did respond to Aunt Agatha on that issue. I just wondered, you ought to get on a program sometime, John. I'll have to see what her schedule is. Schedule. Yeah. She's still traveling some? She travels, yeah, with the Harley. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Have you but ever had a ride on a Harley Davidson? <laughs> no. But she's back on her martini, so she's in a better mood. Oh, that's good to hear. That's really good to hear. Yeah. But the... One of the quotes she had one day, I respond, it's my only response to Facebook, and I don't use it often, but I've got... I've noticed. <laughs> and Aunt Agatha does very well. And I have a, a son that's really keen on that, and he's quite up to date on history. That's one of his interests, and in, uh, particularly in the Civil War era. And uh, it's kind of interesting to see him in uniform on his Facebook. Oh, is that all of the Civil War uniform or something? Every reenacting uniform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yet, you know, it's this uh, uniform his wife made, and she makes all the clothes, and all going back to the yeah. authentic stuff. But George Wood, one of our producers and member board of directors, I... He's on Facebook, but he doesn't do much. Yeah. Well, you know, I saw him the other day with a shirt, a very unique shirt on, which when we had lunch. Yeah, I remember. And I've got him point out that it was handmade by his wife. Yeah. And yeah. she made him a few shirts. She'd well, she used to make uh, outfits for dramatic presentations. That's uh, right. And she did the uniforms to the time of the last of the Mohicans. Oh, okay. Was no doubt very talented, but I... Well, you were there then. Well, no, but my father was. Oh, your father. <laughs> On this Facebook, though, the, the as you, I'm sure, have discovered... Or will discuss it. I have a lot of crackpots on it. Oh, I found that out. 
Oh, my goodness gracious. Some of the stuff that I did, it's enough to make your eyeballs roll. Yeah. I don't, I don't have time for that. Uh, I, don't, I don't see much on there. And plus, I have a wife that drives me to do something substantial. Does that work, Bert? <laughs> it ri almost rhymes. Does that work, Bert? You haven't got her straightened out after all these years? No, I thought I had her trained hey, well. Where'd you put your flag that flew across the, over the Capitol for your wedding anniversary? I haven't put it up. I'm going to put it up down in St. George's Island. And, oh, um, okay. I happened to have one that was uh, a five by so big I couldn't have put that on that flagpole. It'd be disappear the flagpole would. Oh, okay. So I got one that's unique that's flown over the Capitol. It's Tenny Horry sent me for yeah. our anniversary. Yeah. As you know, and with a nice uh, certificate. Yeah. Uh, I'm very proud of it. And uh, the reason I. So did, you should be. I did put it up uh, initially. Do you still have the Confederate flag or did you put that away? I have, no, I don't have a Confederate flag. I have a Georgia flag, a Georgia which one, has yeah. the war flag in it. Now right. that's since changed. But when I lived in uh, Georgia, uh, they, they had two or three flags change in your yeah, right. time. And, yeah. uh, yes, I still have that. Well, uh, but it. And of course, it, we used to live like when your folks visited with us, we had a Scotland flag made. Scottish. That's right. You flew the Scottish flag. Yeah. Well, was and the lion rampant uh, or was it the St. George, uh, the, uh, the Criss Cross? Oh, uh, the. St. George's Cross or whatever. I think it's St. George's Cross, I believe. Now I don't know where it is. Yeah. We, we put it up. Well, well, that old boy is still kicking, 92 years old. He absolutely amazes me. Of course, he's in, he's in the apartment in Edinburgh. And he has to go up and down stairs. Oh, yeah. He does. He does his own shopping. He, uh, you know, goes to Joyce's and Dorothy's and mm -hmm. what have you for dinners and his stays over daughter. goes up to, yeah, and the nieces, he, he goes to visit them because they're getting up there in years, too, now. He's 91, right? He's 92. Uh, 92. 92 in September. And he goes to the pub. That's great. Jumps That's on great. a city bus. A city bus goes mm -hmm. down to the pub, meets his, meets uh, Dorothy, his daughter, and mm -hmm. meets all these guys. I, the guy is absolutely That's amazing. Great. I think he's going to live to be over 100. That's fantastic. He but you know, to, to get back to the politicians, if we could for a minute, sure. Bert, I, I, I found that you, you weren't there. The Memorial Day parade that the yeah. city had here. I have never seen anything like that in, in, de in the decades that I've lived here. First of all, it was uh, 45 minutes late in starting. Now, you, mm -hmm. this is loaded with kids that are looking forward to seeing, not politicians, but everything else. Sure. 45 minutes late, because all these clowns were gathering their masses, you know, down at the, at the start of the parade. The sheriff must have had an entire army there oh, in his sure. motorcycles. Other people just showed up, never having been either A, invited, or B, even telling the city they were coming. And for the first hour of the parade, we had this never-ending flow of loud, obnoxious politicians. Wow. Now, not our city, the city council. Diane twirled a baton, mm -hmm. and uh, the rest of the city council was fine. Uh, Mr. Brady had his fake dog. I thought that damn dog was real. Oh, really? I just discovered it's fake. One of his... Uh, yeah, the big, big... What do they call them? Uh, I just heard it on the radio yeah. today. I forgot the name. I they're beautiful. Know. They're all that big. But big. They're beautiful. But, this, but listen to this. Steady was in the parade. Mm -hmm. Congressman Hoyer, one of the most powerful politicians in the United States, and he was 64th in line. Oh, God. He walked the route with an aide and, and protection, mm -hmm. you know, just uh, one or two uh, uh, Secret Service guys, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then here comes this sheriff with about four trucks, hundreds of people, you know, the county council representative with these noisy, this noisy crowd of people. It was unbelievable. Oh, man. I'm glad people I People were it. leaving, Bert. People were at, and the mayor was so irate. I've mm -hmm. never seen him so mad. I think he wrote a letter to the Bowie Blake News last yes, week. Yes, he did. And justifiably so, because I have never seen, uh, that was disgraceful. So, apology to the citizens. Oh, the yeah. citizens should d deserve an apology. You know, they wait. This isn't what we used to do at the Memorial Day Parade. Yeah, we had politicians, but my God, they never behaved like that. No, and no. And they're handing out, here it is. Here's the, the little Girl Scouts and the Boy Scouts and what have you. They're, they're having this recycling program. Mm -hmm. And here's these idiots handing out flyers and stickers and what have you. 